Manuel, always the first on board, always the first on board. Good afternoon, sir. Audi, good afternoon, good morning, good morning, McDonald. How are you guys doing? Ah, ah, excellent, fantastic, fantastic, fantastic. Raja, good morning, good morning, good morning. Ah, Brittany, Brittany, haha, <laughs> new face to the crew. I like this, I like this. Wonderful, 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 everyone, wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Good morning, Brittany, good morning, good morning. I see you, I see you. Okay, okay, okay. Guys, guys, uh, I've got some fire. I've got some fire that I'm gonna be talking about today. Some things that are very, very, very important. Very important. So I need you guys to pay close attention today. I'm gonna to share with you some of the things that really wake me up and get me alive. First and foremost, the same question I ask every day. Who's fed their mind today? I know we all go around and we wake up and we feed our bodies because our bodies are hungry. Who has fed their mind? Give me a thumbs up, give me a yes in the chat box if you've already fed your mind today. Absolutely beautiful, Brittany. I see that thumb up, I see that thumb up. You have to feed your mind every single day. It is a critical component to you being aligned with your purpose. It is a critical component to making sure that you start your days on purpose. Remember, and I'm gonna be repetitive because repetition is the mother of all skill. Successful people do not start their day by accident. Successful people have a plan. They have an MO, they have a modus operandum. They have a certain way that they operate on a daily basis. And this kind of brings me in very nicely to what I want to talk about today. Guys, I want to talk about knowing your worth. Do you really truly know your worth? Ask yourself that question. Do you know your worth? And the reason why I'm asking that question is because people can and will treat you only how you allow them to treat you. I'm going to say that again. People can and will only treat you how you allow them to treat you. So the way in which you accept, the way in which you allow, the way in which you deem to be okay is how people will treat you. Have you noticed that some people seem to have an air of authority? They command respect. And those people People around them wouldn't even dare to think about treating them in a way that would be unacceptable to that person because they would get shut down in an instant. As soon as that person sees or expects something inappropriate to come from that person, they shut it down straight away. And it's not a case of shutting it down and being rude but it's just a case of knowing your worth. When you let someone, it doesn't matter who they might be, when you let someone treat you in a way that is unacceptable to you, that sends a message. That sends a message about your own values, your own standards, but more importantly, it sends a message about how you feel about yourself. This is why I say consistently, do you tell yourself daily how much you love yourself? Because this is a critical component in you feeling good. And I'm not talking about being arrogant and I'm not talking about being conceited. I'm talking about that true, undeniable self-love because you know your values, you know your standards, you know what you will and what you won't accept at any given time. And guys, why is this so important? Why do you think I'm gonna stay on this topic today? Because your unconscious mind, it never goes to sleep. It is always listening and it is always always watching and your unconscious mind pays attention 
to not only how others treat you, but more importantly, how you treat yourself. Because I'm going to ask you a question. Do you think that if you allow people to treat you in a way that you don't appreciate, that you will have some form of negative self-talk going on? Of course you will. Because how often has someone done something that you don't like and if you didn't address it at that point, at that moment in time, it festers on your mind and it almost eats you up. It goes around and around in your head and you think, do you know what? I should have dealt with that in a different way. I shouldn't have allowed that to happen. Uh, I should have spoken up. Give me a thumbs up. Give me some yeses in the chat box if this has happened previously and it drives you crazy and it just goes around in your mind and you either have to push it to one side or you have to go and address it. Because one of the things that I know is that if you're a strong person, certain behavior will it will mess with you. And what I mean by mess with you, it will poke at you, it will prick at you. Because there are certain things that you as an individual know that you shouldn't and wouldn't under normal circumstances accept. So this is why it all goes back to knowing your worth. When you know your worth and you live by your standards and your values, you won't accept certain behavior. And that is sending a clear message to your unconscious mind. Your unconscious mind, it starts to respect you. Because let's think about it like this. When you accept behavior that is not in alignment with who you are, when you accept behavior that doesn't make you feel good, your unconscious mind, it draws a conclusion. It starts to ask questions. Okay, why is this okay? Why is he or she allowing this? Okay, and if they allow this, maybe their standards aren't that high. Maybe I don't need to take him too seriously. In fact, maybe in a lot of the stuff that he or she is saying, I don't need to believe because they don't practice what they preach. Your unconscious mind, it doesn't look to decipher the messages. It works on fact. It works on the black and white of the information it's receiving, whether that be verbal information, whether that be signs in terms of information. Guys, is this resonating? Does this make sense what I'm saying? Are you getting the understanding of the message I'm trying to convey here? that you well and truly have to know your worth. What do you accept? What do you deem as acceptable? You have to ask yourself these questions regularly because what you deem as acceptable, you project into the world. So as I said, let me go back to certain people that command a level of respect. They command authority, whether it be because they are a certain position professionally or whether in their personal life, they have made certain achievements. They won't allow certain behavior. And what you'll actually find is people that are successful, as I said, whether that be professionally, um, in their career, in a sports capacity, whether they have successful relationships. They do one of two things very well. They project before them who they are and they also communicate very well. Because communication is pivotal in allowing other people to understand how they can and can't treat you. What you have to take into consideration is how it makes you feel 
when other people treat you generally. And what I mean by that is, do people treat you in a way that makes you feel good? Or do people treat you in a way that makes you feel bad? Monitor very closely how it makes you feel. And anything that you deem to be unacceptable, guys, it's very, very, very important that you eradicate that from your life. You have to cut it out like cancer because unfortunately, these little things start to grow and your unconscious mind, it doesn't forget anything. It doesn't not see anything. It doesn't not hear anything. And behavior that you accept starts to correlate with your own personal standards. And yes, this is all intrinsically related to mindset. It's all related to what you will and what you won't accept for yourself. Where does it come from, what you deem to be acceptable? Well, guys, it comes from your belief system. It comes from learnt behaviour. Those of you who don't know, I've mentioned it on many an occasion, your belief system as an adult is created between the ages of naught and nine. When you're a very young child, during those formative years, your brain was in a wave called theta. You're just absorbing information like a sponge. You take things literally. Things might not have even been expressed to you directly, but they might have just been in your environment. And what you see and what you absorb, you take on and you formulate a belief system. And that belief system will either serve or it won't serve. But the thing that is very, very, very important is how you perceive the messages to be. Because guys, you know, how you treat yourself, what you allow is, I can't stress the importance of it enough. But when you hold significance in your belief system, what you have to do on a regular basis, you have to break down. Are those beliefs serving you? Or are they destroying you? Give me a thumbs up. Give me some yes in the chat box if this is resonating, if this is really making sense. If you're digesting the information I'm giving out today about how important it is to know your worth, to know what you will accept, what you won't accept, because it's all interconnected. Your values, your standards. Is it serving you? Is it not serving you? You have to assess this on a regular basis. And if things aren't serving you, how do you change that? What can you do differently? Oh, Manuel, I always get these nuggets back from you about how you communicate what you accept. Manuel, you communicate what you accept in many different ways, through your own actions, you verbally communicate. You display what you will and you won't accept. By the way you treat yourself, you communicate what you will and you won't accept. And I personally believe that that is the most important conversation, the conversation you have with yourself. Because if we really, really think about everything, Who do you talk to the most? It's yourself, clearly. We are always having conversations with ourselves. Or some people might say they're having a conversation with God or a conversation with the universe. Regardless of who you put it down to, there is always an internal voice going around in your head consistently. That mind voice is always there. But it's very, very, very important the kind of conversation you have with yourself. Which is why I tell you frequently, you must, you must, you must tell yourself that you love yourself daily. 
A lot of people don't understand the significance behind that. Because when you tell yourself you love yourself consistently, and you actually start to believe that, do you think you're going to accept behavior from others that isn't in alignment with how you feel about yourself? Of course you're not. You will absolutely refuse. You will shut it down in an instant. If someone is treating you in a way that isn't conducive with how you treat yourself, why would you accept it? If you don't treat yourself like that, why are you going to accept it from anyone else? Does this make sense, guys? Give me a thumbs up if it makes sense. And please, give me some yeses in the chat box if this is really making sense. Because this is a message that I need you really to understand. The way you allow others, the way you allow yourself to treat yourself, I cannot stress how important it is. Because, as I said, everything is interconnected. Your personal life, believe it or not, rolls over to your professional life. And that rolls over into how you grow in life. Because if you accept certain behavior in your personal life, that will come out in your professional life, whether that be positively or negatively. I'm gonna ask you one question. How often has there been maybe a middle manager in the workplace that is a real bully, that is a real tyrant, that seems to take pleasure in making other people feel bad? I can almost guarantee that that person is not happy at home. I can almost guarantee that. The reason why I would suggest that is because that negative behavior is coming from frustration. So this is why I'm telling you that everything is always interconnected. Well, Roger, you're bullied by your teacher. And you know what? A teacher exhibiting bullying behavior, that is really, really sad because they hold so much influence over you, especially determining what age that was. But this is what I'm saying, when you have those managers who seem to take joy in making other people suffer in the workplace, it comes from frustration. This is why I tell you, you have to manage your state. You have to make sure that you have balance and equilibrium in your life. Because you can't have a negative situation in one part of your life that doesn't then impact another part of your life. It has to come out in some way, shape or form. So you have to really understand your own values, your own standards, but more importantly, you have to know your worth. I've probably come at everyone at a slightly different angle today. And maybe you guys are thinking, wow, where's Kev gone with this one today? But you're now understanding why I'm talking about knowing your worth and understanding your values and understanding your own personal standards. Because your life is almost like three circles, but all of those three circles, they overlap each other. Your personal life overlaps into your business life and the way you grow in life overlaps both your personal life and your business life. You have to find a level of satisfaction in everything you do in order to be truly happy. <laughs> thank you, Brittany. Thank you, thank you, thank you. That goes exactly in line with what I'm saying. Knowing your worth, of course it is everything. You cannot truly love someone else before you love yourself. Because in order to teach something, or in, they say in order to learn something, you have to be able to teach it. That is the quickest and the best way to learn something, having to be able to teach it. So if you don't love yourself, 
How can you then truly love someone else? And guys, do you understand why this all overlaps? Why this makes so much sense in every different avenue of your life? Because as I said, everything is interconnected. Everything. You have to understand what your own personal values are, what your own standards are. You have to understand what is serving you. If things are not serving you in your life, change them. And that starts fundamentally at a belief system level. How do you input new belief systems? Through repetition, through repetitive behavior. Analyzing yourself is critical. Being brutally honest with yourself on a daily basis is absolutely critical. Because guys, you can put on the biggest bravado in the world. You can seemingly trick and fool everyone outside you, but you can't fool yourself. Uh, McDonald, I know that one resonated with you, right? Uh, you can, you can fool everyone outside you for as long as you please. But really, is that serving you? Of course not. Because that's like being an actor in a soap opera. At some point, your mask has to come off. And guess what? When your mask comes off and you look at the man or woman in the mirror, the longer you hold that mask on, is the longer you're gonna be displeased. And once again, that comes back to not having equilibrium in, uh, equilibrium in your life. When you don't have a balance, it will infect another part of your life. And I use the word infect because it will infect another part of your life like a disease. This is why I talk about things like feeding your mind at the beginning of every day. Setting yourself up to start your days in the right way. Consistently, consistently knowing your standards. <laughs> oh, Brittany, you should have been here a long time ago because your input is wonderful. Yes, you're absolutely correct. What is done in the dark will at some point come to light. It always does. It always has to. That's the way it works. What do they say? You can fool some of the people some of the time, but you can't fool all the people all the time. Yeah? And they say the same about you can please some of the people some of the time. But I'm not into pleasing anyone else. You have to please yourself first. When you please yourself, you will get to a point where, whether you see it as fortunately or unfortunately, but other people's opinions don't necessarily mean that much to you anymore. Because when you are happy with your own values and your own standards, guess what guys? You no longer need or require validation externally. Does this make sense, guys? Does this resonate? Are you understanding the message I'm delivering and the importance behind the message I'm delivering? Because you cannot truly achieve success unless you love yourself, unless you know your worth, unless you have set your values and your standards. And what you do in life has to align with your values and your standards. Otherwise, it will be short-lived. Whether that be business, personal, any kind of relationship, they have to align with your values and your standards. Yes, Raja, that's no problem at all. That is no problem. I'll get an email sent out to you, Raja, and we'll um, organise a one-on-one -on -one appointment. Guys, all I want you to understand is every single day, I want you to reassess your values. I want to reassess knowing your worth. I want to reassess what you are accepting on a daily basis. And ensure that you set yourself up each day with one thing in mind. And that's going out and winning. And as you win in life, celebrate your small victories.
Guys, I have another call in just a couple of minutes. And as usual, the time has gone by in a hurry. Guys, have you got value from today? Give me a thumbs up. Give me some yeses in the chat box. If what I've said has resonated, if what I've said has made sense, if what I said has struck a chord. That's all I need to know. If what I've said has made sense to you, then I'm doing what I need to do. If what I've said has resonated and you've picked some pearls, you've got some nuggets from what I've delivered today, that's all I need to know. Because guys, I want you to understand all canon will be achieved one step at a time. I am committed to you. The question I ask every single day is how committed are you to yourselves? Because if you are committed, we're in this together. And I need you to understand if that's the case, I'm going to be here on this same bad channel on Monday. Guys, have an incredible weekend. Make today count like every day. Go out and win. And I'll see you on Monday. Thank you for your time. I really appreciate you guys. Have a beautiful weekend. Thank you guys. Take care. And I will speak to you very, very soon. One step at a time.